big picture wise, what can you do if you are having abnormal semen analysis a few times in a row? Easiest thing to do is make necessary lifestyle changes. I try to keep it as simple as possible. There's four things. You wanna eat right, you wanna sleep right, you wanna exercise, and you wanna reduce your stress. When we talk about eating, it's not just gonna be good for your fertility, it's good for your heart health and your overall health. You wanna mix combination of healthy carbohydrates, complex carbohydrates primarily, lean proteins, and healthy fats. All of these help contribute to an overall healthy diet, which is good for your fertility potential. When it comes to exercise, you wanna mix a combination of cardio as well as heavy weightlifting. I generally recommend at least two days of heavy weightlifting combined with at least two days of cardio. That mix provides a good healthy amount of exercise and stress on your body to increase your hormone levels, which are very, very key to testosterone production, which is also very important for sperm production and sperm quality. Number three, sleep, at least seven hours of sleep. The key thing there is seven hours of sleep, we've done numerous studies on this, which supports the fact that seven hours of sleep helps support healthy testosterone levels and healthy hormone levels, which is again, very important to sperm production and sperm uh, maturation and health. And finally, when it comes to stress, the same precursor hormone that's involved in stress, the stress hormone cortisol, that's also used in order to make the testosterone. So the more stressed out you are, more of that precursor hormone gets shunted to cortisol versus testosterone. And as a result of that, you have lower testosterone levels, which mean weaker and lower sperm counts, concentration, and health.